Elise and Will's hauls. I have an extra large Dollar Tree haul today that we would love to share with you. Will's going to be joining in a little bit to show some items that he found at Dollar Tree. He found his items at Dollar Tree last week. And the items that I have picked up, I've got over the last four to six days. So let's get into this haul. Dollar Tree just keeps coming with the orbs. And this is another one that they had. I They did have quite a few. This is the only one that I picked up. And this says it is the soft and slow a squishy surprise. And I guess this is the first version of them. So let's open this and see what we have inside. I have no clue. Outer plastic off and now we're going to open the box and it comes like this so it's not in a little surprise bag when you take it out oh and it's just a cute little squishy and it's about the size of my fingers isn't that just darling and he is the green one and there is the other ones that you can get i am going to have to try again because i just noticed they have the turtle right here and like i said my granddaughter has a love for turtles this is not a new item but it is new to our store because i've never seen them before but i have seen them in other hauls and this is the scratch art and you know what i got this just to put in my purse and use for myself this says that you get 50 sheets and they are black and you get this little wooden pin. Let's try it out. See how it writes. Oh, pretty. You do have to press down a little hard on this. And then you have some colors coming in there. Thanks for watching. So that would be pretty fun to play around with. And there's some of the colors. So, like I said, I just picked that up for myself. If you're ever in the car bored or at the doctor's office, this would be fun to take out and play with. Next, they still had some zoops, and I picked up a couple more. And this one says, I twist and climb. So this one does little activities. And it comes with these little pieces inside. I think he must chase them all. But I thought this would be really good to put in the Christmas shoe boxes or to give out for gifts at Christmas time. So that is the one I got, the little unicorn. And then this one I thought would be good for a boy because I don't recall getting, I think I've got one or two more and I don't recall getting one that was more geared to a boy. So hopefully this one will be more geared for a boy but i just think these are cute and these are definitely worth a dollar Next, i picked up some hydranian flowers um i do have diys i've been talking and talking about that i haven't got to and i have bought these both for that and then i also got the pretty sunflowers so hopefully tomorrow i can start on my diys and get I've them out seen this by crafters square before but this time i thought for a dollar why not pick it up and it's the scrap knife set. Scrap utility a knife set. And it has the blades in it. So I thought that would be good. And this is a Greenbrier product. And by Forever in Time, I picked up two more of the metallic markers. I got one in white and one in the gold. And these do work really well. And I have enjoyed using the ones that I have purchased before so i seen these and picked them up as well and by essentials i picked up a 36 of the wood clothes pins and i picked up a two packs of those i just noticed these are a little darker than these but doesn't matter these are going to be in one of my diys I did run across these little glass bottles that they have out they kind of look like perfume bottles and I picked this up. I do not have a clue what I'm going to do with it. They did have three other colors. I think green, yellow, and blue. But this is the only one that I did pick up. And this is a Greenbrier product. And it has a little lid on top with a little uh, plastic closure. And it fits really well on. So 
I thought that would be good to have. My special moments. I picked up the two-piece display easel in black. Now, if you've watched my channel and watched me do DIYs before, I have had the clear ones, and I spray-painted them black. And I have seen these in Dollar Tree since I have been in back and done that DIY. And this time I thought, you know what? Before I paint another one black, let me just pick them up. And these do seem a little more sturdier than the one that I have. This one seems to be made out of wood. I'm going to turn the camera off and check out That's what this one looks like. The clear ones that they have aren't that sturdy. I usually have to hot glue them to make them stay open and hold. But this seems a lot sturdier and this is not wood. It seems like a thick plastic, but it is a lot thicker than the clear ones that that Dollar Tree has. These are also a Greenbrier product. I'm going to be doing a couple Father's Day gift ideas on the channel. And I found this nice t-shirt yesterday. And it is the Comfort Wash. Now, they do sell these at Hobby Lobby, and I got this in the medium. I didn't see any more sizes, so I thought this would be good for one of my sons, and it is in the gray, so I'm going to put that in the Father's Day gift idea that I have, and then I also picked this up. It says, new, a moisturizing bath bar. It's a Yardley by London, active charcoal, and... I think that will be really good to go in with one of the ideas that I have. And that smells really good as well. I also picked up this Yes to Cucumbers Calming Mud Mask. And this says Yes to 3 Triple Masking Kit. And it has Calm Detox and a Glow Boost. So I thought that was a really good deal. It has a vitamin C. So I'll give that a try. It's a three step and I haven't tried it before and I do like to use the mask. This was new to my Dollar Tree. It's a Glad a Flex in Seal 8 quart 8 storage bags. Um, I just thought that would be a really good idea and they have it on the back where it shows you can use it for your um, bathroom essentials when you travel. Uh, it said great for travel with the plane right there. So um, I got two of those and I'm going to open, I already opened this and I'm going to open it and show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. It's got that little uh, triangle, puffy little bit of triangle in it. So I just thought these would be good to have. Right here it said it's also good for marinating travel and they are microwave safe and the next thing that i was excited that i found was this good housekeeping skillet supper 65 delicious recipes and i was already been reading through it i got this last week and i just didn't haul it and so i've been reading through it already and looking at some of the recipes i love to read uh, cookbooks just like most people would read a regular book or a novel but when I got in here it tells you about different pans the non-skit stick skillets and um, the cast iron years ago I did have a cast iron pan and I did not know how to take care of it and it got really bad and rusty and I didn't know what to do and I'm so OCD I like to wash everything with soap and water but it says to really not do that so I just threw it in the trash I know that's so sad I did that but I was young and so yesterday I went to a Walmart and bought me a Lodge cast iron 12 inch skillet and in here it does tell you what to do to your skillet to keep it seasoned and they say the recipes are really good and it does cook even so i am going to hope for the best with my new uh cast iron pan and it does have this book has so many delicious looking recipes and i'm going to try some of these recipes that i have never tried before along with my new cast iron pan so wish me luck on that and this did retail at one point for $16.95 and $19.95 in Canada. And this is a repurchase for me. I like this better than the Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. 
And this is a Greenbrier product, and it's Angel of Mine Cornstarch Baby Powder, and it comes in a 9 ounce. And by Sassy and Chic, I picked up the Moisturizing Foundation in the medium one. It's 1 1.0 ounces. I did try this before, and the reason that I got it bef again is because this is just so fast for me to put on and go. Instead of my regular foundation, which takes a little more time. And this is a Greenbrier product. This was a new item that I had never seen at Dollar Tree before. It's high performance, deodorizes, whitens, deep cleans. It's used for your wash, bathrooms, and floors. And it is heat compatible. And this is the Colorline Bleach. And it is in 32.12 ounces. So, I was happy to find that, and I'll be glad to give that a watched try. any of my hauls, you probably heard me say before, this is my absolute favorite product at Dollar Tree. It is the Clear LA Awesomes Streak Free Window Clean, and the 40 ounces. I picked this up quite a lot at Dollar Tree, and this is what got me addicted to Dollar Tree in the first place. It's a repurchase. I've got it twice before. I don't know if this was for sale yesterday or what was going on, but this was just sitting over by the uh, knives and utensils, and uh, there is a little bit out. I don't know how much my other ones were full, but I picked it up. I'm like, hey, and it looks a little war here. But I'm like, hey, I'm getting that. And so they didn't say anything when I got it. I don't know if they had it out. They were using it or not, but it was sitting there. And I didn't think about that till I got home. But this kills a bacteria and vi viruses speak and span every day. And it's the fresh, cit fresh citrus scent. And it is in the 22 fluid ounces. And... At, during this pandemic, this is very good product to have on hand. Also picked up the Spring Magic Fab. You get 10 uh, pods in here, and it is for all machines and the he. And it is in the net weight, 3.52 ounces. And I did use some already, as I have hauled these before, and they did work really well. As I said, this is a Dollar Tree over the last five to six days. And when I was in one Dollar Tree, I didn't see the fab, so I picked these up beforehand. And these are for your heat as well, are all machines, fresh and clean laundry, detergent pods, and it's in the 10 count as well. These are heavier. These are 6.35. And these are a Greenbrier product. Next, I got the Jolly Time Yellow Popcorn. This is in the 20 ounce bag, high in fiber, 100% whole grain, gluten free. And I just like to have this. I just like it so much better than microwavable popcorn. I mostly cook all of, or I do cook all of my popcorn on stovetop. And I'll add um, chocolate chips in it, the white, um, just different things. At Christmas, I'll add uh, the. Um, peppermint barks, peppermint mint. So I just really like making my own popcorn and adding whatever I would like. And in. I just picked up one of these. It's the Victor Allen's coffee and the mocha. These are not very strong at all. It is in the 9.5 ounce. And this is the one that I like most. Uh, Elijah and I tried the raspberry one that I think is new to Dollar Tree. And I didn't care for that, but Elijah did like Speaking it. Speaking of Elijah, I bought these uh, party candles. They come in the 14 piece. I always get my party items from Dollar Tree. You just can't beat the price. And May the 4th was Elijah's birthday. And May the 4th be with me because Elijah is a teenager now at 13. And we all know how 13 year olds can be. So, we did not celebrate his birthday Monday. We will be celebrating it this weekend. Next, I picked up the Snaps Mozzarella Sticks. These are in the five ounces. And these are really good. And this box looks a little bit open. So, I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you what these look like. You don't get very many inside. How many do you get? Seven. So, that's what they look like. And they are kind of small. 
but these are really good so i got two boxes and i just put these right in my air fryer and they are really good a company in cherry hill new jersey and they're the breadsticks i don't know if these are new or not but it is the first time that i have seen them and they're cheesy garlic so i wanted to give these a try as well i did find these again and they had three boxes in the store i've only got two to show you because i came home and fixed a box last night but these are the betty crocker mix chill top chilled lemon mousse mix and these are really good i did put a picture of the first ones i made on the community tab and i'll add it in this video so you can see and i also paired that with my dollar tree lemon glasses from last year and it was a very pretty presentation and very yummy the next item that i ran across was the meow decor and this is a green briar product and it is in the black and the gray and we do not have a cat so it is a secret giveaway time and all i want you to do is write in the comments something about a cat just put cat in any of your comments and one of you will be the lucky winner of this meow piece of decor. Started picking these original guacamole chips up last year. These are really good. These are by Snack King out of Los Angeles, California. Even if you don't like guacamole, I think you will like these. These kind of taste like a Dorito, but a little bit different. And they are shaped like a Dorito. And everyone that has tried them has liked them in our family. So I did pick up two more of these in Sadie J TV. Sweet Sadie J TV. If you're watching, they had them back at my store. So hopefully you'll get them back at yours very soon. I tried this uh, last week or the week before. It's the Zachary Bridge Mix. It's got ch chocolate covered nuts, fruits, caramels, and creams. It's in the 3.5 ounce. These are really good. And they are manufactured by Zachary's and they're made in Indiana, USA, in Frankfurt. And these are really good. So I bought this for a treat for myself. Out of the light brown sugar. So I picked a box of this up. This is in the 16 ounce. I think that's a pretty good deal for a dollar. And it's a name brand. By Betty Crocker. I picked up two of the Suddenly Pasta Salad Classic. Pastic red peppers and seasoning. Make your own. Now they do have another brand at Dollar Tree. And a larger box. But it was only ranch. So I decided not to pick that up and just pick up these two boxes. And that is the end of the food items. And now Will is going to show you what he picked up last week from Dollar Tree. So be sure to watch. And now I'm turning this Dollar Tree haul over to Will. Go for it, Will. Hey, everyone. And we're going to start off with DVDs. This is The Amazing Ocean, shot in 3D and can be viewed in 2D as well. And it has like green turtles and seals and porpoises and all the good things that are in the ocean and sticking with that theme we now have shark week which is five hours from discovery channel and this is a blu-ray dvd this is my next movie it is the office this is the british version from the bbc and this is the only non-us sitcom to win a golden globe and this is the 90 minute special edition version and that is the office from bbc america and then next we have Hollywood Westerns. I got this for my dad. This is a three disc DVD set. And it includes Angel and the Bad Man by John Wayne. Uh, Roy Rogers, Tex Ritter is also in this. And Errol Flynn, all of his favorites. And there's also Jane Russell. I just happened to see her in there. So this is Hollywood Westerns. And then our last DVD is the 150th anniversary commemorative edition of the American Civil War. And none of these had prices on them, but I am pretty certain that this 15 hour, six DVD set was worth a lot more money than a dollar. And that was the American Civil War documentary. Next I found the Marie Callender's Blueberry mix, Muffin Mix, which was seven ounces and it was the restaurant style. 
And Lisa did inform me that I could find these for less at Walmart. They were 88 cents there, whereas I paid a dollar at Dollar Tree. But you gotta live and learn. And then next we have two boxes of the Funfetti cupcake mix with candy bites. And these are new from Pillsbury. And then on the back they have the baking instructions and they are 10.58 ounces. Next Will's gonna share with us a product that I showed in my Dollar Tree walkthrough yesterday. And I picked it up and I forgot to show it earlier in my food items. Take it away, Will. Well, we've been munching on it. That may be one reason why, Lisa, because it's very good. It is the onion rings from TGI Fridays. 140 calories per serving. And this particular bag size is 2.75 ounces. And I highly recommend it. It is the baked onion rings from the TGI Fridays. The original. That is at the end of our Duo Dollar Tree haul. And now I'd like to take this moment to say, we have 82% of our viewers. You guys are not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell and go all the way up and hit that all button so you will be notified every time we upload a video. You'll see it right away. Come on, subscribe. We'd love to have you join us in our YouTube family. Thanks for watching. And until, until next time, time bye, bye guys.